Welcome to Infusing Hispanic Latino Contributions and Culture into Elementary Social Studies. I am Laureen Newbar. This presentation will address two goals. One, it will give background knowledge about Hispanic Heritage Month. And two, it will show you how to locate required instruction that has been infused into the curriculum. Preservation of one's own culture does not require contempt or disrespect for other cultures. What does this statement mean to you? Many Hispanic Latinos in the United States came from nearby places like Mexico, the Caribbean, Central America, or South America. In 2019, the number of Hispanic Latinos reached a record 60.6 .6 million, making up 18% of the U.S. population. In Florida, 27% of the population is Hispanic Latino. But don't forget, the Hispanic Latino people settled in the U.S. long before the English settled along the eastern coast. Missionaries from Spain helped settle the new land and they lived alongside of the indigenous people in present-day California and New Mexico. Spanish explorers traveled throughout present-day Florida almost 400 years ago. In fact, St. Augustine, Florida was founded by Spanish explorers long before Jamestown and the Plymouth, Plymouth Colony. Even before Jamestown or the Plymouth Colony, the oldest permanent European settlement in what is now the United States was founded in September 1565 by a Spanish soldier named Pedro Mendez Avalis. About 400 years later, Hispanic Heritage Week was first introduced in 1968 by California Congressman George Brown. The push to recognize the contributions of the Latino community had gained momentum throughout the 1960s when the civil rights movement was at its peak and there was a growing awareness of the United States multicultural identities. The week of September 15th was selected because it contains the independence anniversaries for Mexico, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, on September 14, 1989, President George H.W. Bush became the first president to declare the 31-day period from September 15 to October 15 as National Hispanic Heritage Month. Not all of the contributions made by Hispanic Americans to our society are so visible or so widely celebrated. However, Hispanic Americans have enriched our nation beyond measure with the quiet strength of closely knit families and proud communities. President George H.W. Bush. What is required instruction? Required instruction is instruction that has been mandated by the federal or state government. Florida State Statute 1003.42 P, the study of Hispanic contributions to the United States. What are your thoughts about 1003.42 P? Do you think it's too general? Schools must include the contributions of Latino and Hispanics to the United States, which is 1003.42p in their school improvement plans. This can be found under the section Additional School-Wide Improvement Priorities. To align with the state requirement, we infuse Hispanic heritage into our curriculum. 
Infusion is bringing into as a part of, not as separate, not in place of. Effective infusion occurs when the content addresses the contributions of all individuals and groups. Let's take a look at a K-5 progression that was developed and used by our district. This infusion model is organized and designed according to the developmental ranges, each with an interdisciplinary theme. This allows teachers flexibility in adapting curriculum, content to the needs and experiences of students. These frameworks recommend a format and content focus that emphasizes a humanities-based, multicultural approach for all levels of instruction. In kindergarten, students will focus on culture and families, the basic beliefs, customs, and traditions of their own families and Hispanic Latino families through the use of stories, legends, and myths. In first grade, students will focus on geographic features of Hispanic countries, the food, traditions of their own families, and traditions of Hispanic Latino families, through the use of stories, songs, poems, legends, and myths, students will understand the culture, customs, and basic beliefs. Students will also understand music and dance. In second grade, students will focus on Latin America, its location, geography, peoples, animals, cultures, economics, community, and children, Hispanic contributions, and holidays. In third grade, students will understand culture, immigration, list of customs and traditions, visual arts and crafts, music, folkloric dances, drama, literature, language, religions, and country of origin. In fourth grade, students will understand personalities in history. Students will also understand culture, visual arts, crafts, music, literature, and sports. In fifth grade, students will understand stories on families from Hispanic countries, list of biographies, short stories, poetry, myths, legends, and folklore. Students will understand immigration groups such as Mexican American, Puerto Rican, Cuban American, Dominican, Colombian, Venezuelan, Guatemalan. It is valuable to get others' input. Let's take a look at an activity that you can complete with your team using Jamboard. We are going to use the matrix and grade level standards to develop some ideas for infusing Hispanic heritage into the curriculum. This is an example of an activity for kindergarten and first grade teachers. This is an example of an activity for second and third grade teachers. This is an example of an activity for fourth and fifth grade teachers. Let's see how Palm Beach County has infused Hispanic heritage into the curriculum. We have identified many lessons and resources that infuses Hispanic heritage. In Blender, identified required instruction can be located on the grade level's homepage. Florida required instruction has been organized into two documents, 
For kindergarten through second grade, one document identifies required instruction by units and the other document identifies required instruction by lessons. For third through fifth grade, one document identifies required instruction by units and the other document identifies required instruction by open educational resources. You can find additional resources in Blender. To find additional resources, click on Latino Hispanic Studies Lessons and Resources. There are many resources available. These include a Google website, book list, lesson plans, text, and maps. Has your meaning of this quote changed? If you have any questions, please contact Laureen Newbar. Thank you.